Hi, my name is Lisa Stover. I am with Animal Welfare League of Queen Anne's County, and I'm here today to talk to you about trap, neuter, and release. However, first I want to tell you all about our 30 kittens that we have in foster, including these four right here. I have one little girl and three little boys, and they will be up for adoption in approximately a month in July. These are my fantastic little curious kittens. So I'd like you to come down to Animal Welfare League at 201 Clay Drive in Queenstown and come see my babies. At Animal Welfare League at Queen Anne's County, we often have people come in and tell us that they're having problems with feral or stray cats. Community cats is what we call them. Uh, with community cats, uh, when they come in, we like to tell them that we want to practice TNR. And of course, we always get the question, what is TNR? TNR is trap, neuter, and return. It's the only way to effectively stabilize a community cat population. A lot of people have uh, trapped and brought cats to shelters and uh, had them killed. This is not the way to stabilize a population because more cats come in. It's called the vacuum effect. This is trap, neuter, and return is case study proved. And we want to start Trapping practicing trap, neuter, and return. Just involves mainly right trapping Canada. your stray, feral, or community cat, as we like to call them. You're going to be using a humane trap, and you can get them at any of your local hardware stores. They are just wire traps that have a little uh, activated pad in them. You use wet or tuna fish, wet food or tuna fish in them, and it traps the cat, and you bring them in, and we take care of vaccinating and spaying them. The N in TNR is for neuter. This means when the cats are brought in, they're spayed and neutered, they're vaccinated, and they are also ear tipped. A little portion of their left ear is tipped so that they can be put back out into the community. And if they're trapped again, we do know that these cats are already spayed, neutered, vaccinated, so they don't have to be brought back into us again. And this brings us to the R and TNR is for return. This is really important because we return our community cats to the same location that they came from. A lot of people, um, believe that they want to remove these cats from the area because there is a feral cat colony where they're living. These cats are, are being sustained in that area. They're getting food from somewhere and if you remove the cat from that area, another cat is just going to come in and replace them in that area. So it's important that this cat that has been spayed or neutered is returned to that exact area. They will not reproduce and uh, bad behaviors will stop. TNR in Queen Anne's County is incredibly important for all the community members. As a result of the spay and neuter, the birth of new kittens slowly reduces. The colony sizes of the community cats as a result slowly reduces as well. This has been proven by case studies across not only the United States, but also across the world. So we want to start this in Queen Anne's County so we can help the entire community. With the TNR program in place in Queen Anne's County as well, uh, we would stop bad behaviors. Now, I always have people come in to Animal Welfare League and complain they want to get rid of these cats and they want to turn them into us because there's horrible bad behaviors such as roaming, spraying, fighting, yowling. We have all heard those screams in the middle of the night from cats. Well, with the TNR program in place, we're trapping, we're neutering, and we're releasing them. The neutering and the spaying helps reduce these, uh, these problem behaviors that you see and hear in the middle of the night. So these bad behaviors will uh, reduce and slowly cease completely. So. That's why we want TNR to start in Queen Anne's County. Animal Welfare League needs volunteers. We need donations. We need your help in many ways. We want you to attend events. We want you to join our committees. We have all sorts of committees at Animal Welfare League for volunteers, including bath brigades where you can come out and help us wash dogs. We have um, the ability to sponsor a kennel. 
we have the ability to form a team for our walk and wag that's coming up soon. So if you're interested in any of this, please uh, check out our website at www.awlqac.org or give us a call at 410-827-7178. We look forward to hearing from everybody in the community. Thank you so much.